Hola and welcome to another episode of MVP playing FM21 as Villarreal. And we've got two monstrous games today. We've got Barcelona away in the league and then Monaco at home in the Champions League, which we've already qualified from, which is excellent news. Monaco are really not the side. They are... What? They won the league last season. How? What happened? Why are they so bad now? Have they, have they, have they just like made loads of transfers or something? They've bought a lot of players. They haven't really sold anybody. They only really sold one player. To be fair, he looks quite good. I don't imagine he played very much. I'm going to scout him though. No, he only made eight appearances. What? what? How did they win the league last season? What happened to PSG? A PSG with Neymar and Haaland and Kai Havertz. What on earth? So they brought in Kai Havertz this season as well as Anana and Marco Asensio who came from City. What? That's just thrown me. Sorry, I've gotten very much off track down the rabbit hole, but that's just insanity that <laughs> Monaco won the league last season and then are this bad in the Champions League this season. Wow. Okay, so, I mean, it's a huge game in the context of confirming our qualification from the Champions League group as top spot, which would be nice. I'd rather be in top than bottom with Rangers. So, uh, the other thing that we've come to uh, come to realise is now that I am back at work full time, I don't think I can run two FM saves at the same time. And as much as, I know, as I'm enjoying this one, I think the 2030 save is really interesting and I'm really enjoying it and probably has a bit more longevity about it. Um, I'm probably going to be playing this off camera just because I'm enjoying I, I, I love Villarreal and this is a good save and I'm really enjoying it. So I'll probably play this for me. Um, maybe I'll do some specials in the future. Who knows? Um, you know, big games in future seasons. But I think this might be the last full season I show. Um, just because there isn't enough time and there's more things I want to do. So, you know, I have to change it all up. Um, that being said, I think I'd like to go out with a bang and at least win a trophy this season. And looking at our competitions, uh, we haven't started in the Spanish Cup yet. We have got the Super Cup. <laughs> now, that might be a little cheat out if we can somehow win it. Because we've got Madrid in the semi-final and then I'm assuming Barcelona in the final. Because that's how these things go. Um so, you know, that might be a cop-out. But I don't think we can win the Champions League. I'd not... Well, I'd be shocked if we got anywhere close in the, champ in, the, in, the, in, the in La Liga. So maybe the Spanish Cup or the Super Cup is the way to go. But I would love to uh, come down and leave with a trophy. So, big game against Barcelona today. The team is going to be Drogowski in net, a back four of Delo, Duarte, Basia, and Pellegrini. Midfield three of Scott McSauce, Castro Vili, and Fekir, and a front three of Dela Cruz, Gerald Moreno, and Zanilo. Um, Chuk Wesley not fully fit, Bay still not fully fit. Um, Baron Acheas would start, but his sharpness isn't there, so he's on the bench. Ovando on the bench. Gagliandini, Ceballos, Copicciano. Lots of options on the bench. Um, going attacking might be our undoing, so we're going to go positive. And I'm just going to save right here, right now, just in case. So, um, I didn't realize the Nilo's form has been so poor. So, I think what we're going to do, Chuck Wesley on, Zanilo on the bench, and then Zanilo can come in and cover if needed 
does mean Baron Achea misses out, which I'm pretty sad about, but I want that midfield depth. So, guess he has to be sacrificed. I mean, this, this, this Villarreal save has been awesome. It's been so cool, and we've brought in so many players and changed it up all so much. And I really feel like, especially this season, we're getting somewhere with this side. I think there are a few tweaks that needed to be made. Oh, God. Bodu, Sancho, and Silva as the front three for Barcelona today. Okay. They are looking good. Van der Beek in there as well. Oporte. Yeah, that's a good that's a good Barcelona side. But yeah, I mean, it, it, it finally feels like we're getting somewhere, and there are a few pieces of the puzzle that need to be tweaked and, and new signings that need to be made. We definitely need a proper 30 goal a season. Oh, Pellegrini, no way. It's Coutinho. He obviously dived. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, we're still missing that 30-goal season striker. I think as soon as we sign somebody like that, I think Villarreal will be a huge, huge threat in the uh, in the league. Barca going 1-0 up through Bernardo Silva from the penalty spot after Pellegrini was just not very smart about tackling Coutinho. Highlight from the kickoff, though. Can we get an instant response? That would be nice. Cash Revealy playing it out to Pellegrini. You owe us, lad. Gerard Moreno. Pellegrini. Do something. Dela Cruz. Cash Revealy. Oh, no. Gives it away. Coutinho on the break. Sancho away. Dragowski getting down quickly to stop that shot. And Barca hitting us on the break. Oh, God. And Pellegrini's injured already. He's had an absolute nightmare. Gives away a penalty, then gets injured. Right, Copacciano can come on, and I'll feel confident. Uh, I'm going to have him on support, not attacking as well. That's probably wise. I mean, I am a big fan of Copacciano, so I would love for him to have a good game today. Van der Beek plays one over to Sancho. Really should have stuck that away. The net was a gape, and he could not finish it. Oh, feck here. Why's your heart dropped? Oh, he's taking a knock. I mean, now we've got to see this highlight, so... Nabil, put the ball of dreams in. Nah, it wasn't close. Dela Cruz. Got space to run. Puts it back across. And <laughs> forces an own goal. Very unlike Barcelona here. Excellent work from Dela Cruz. Puts in a dangerous ball and the Barcelona defender just puts it in his own net. There was no one really around him either. Okay, so now we have to take off Nabil Fekir, which is really bad. So Zanilo goes in there. Um, <laughs> our, our first 11 is now not looking anything like the one we started the game with. Van der Beek is so dangerous in that midfield. Just pinging balls to Sancho all day long. I don't like it. <laughs> Copacciano with a clearance. Back to Pedri. Goosen's on the left. Oh, whoa. Coutinho hitting two off Dragowski. It was never going to be an easy game, was it? Chuck Wesley using those dancing feet, plays one through for Gerard Moreno. Oh, I thought that was a penalty. We retain possession. Chuck Weze, go for goal, lad. Ah, oh. went for the near post and went too near. Hits the side netting. I mean, we can be pretty uh, happy that it's one all <laughs> after having 0 0.12 on the XG. Zanilo, you've got to score. Gerard Moreno. No. That can't be offside. I guess it can be offside. Ah. Oh. That's unfair. Don't like that. Come on, lads. We're getting on top. <laughs> Delo throws to Zanilo. Ball across to Dela Cruz. Gerard Moreno, no doubt about that. 
smashes it home. What a finish. <laughs> and we're leading at the new Camp. Just like that. Zanilo pings it across to Dela Cruz. It lays it off. And Gerard Moreno absolutely stomps it. What a finish. Can we go in leading at the break? That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Barca with an XG of 1.5 to our 0.62. But that's not what matters. It's the scoreline that matters and it's half time 2-1. <laughs> so I'm going to ignore what the uh, assistants are saying. We're going to be, uh, I'm delighted with the performance. Let's keep it up, lads. Ansu Fati comes on for Bernardo Silva. Clearly Barca not happy with what's been going on here. Everybody in the Villarreal lineup is ecstatic that we're leading here. We just want to keep hold of it. Duarte playing it out from the back. Chuck Weze in field to Scott McSauce. Saucy hits a ball out to Cappuccino. Can he find the pass? Find the pass he does, but Joe Moreno forces the save. Oh, to Sturgeon. He's such a good goalkeeper. I hate playing against him in Football Manager. He's stupidly good. I mean, nothing he could have done about against either goal that's been against him today. I mean, one was an own goal and the other one was an absolute thunderbolt. Come on, De La Cruz with the ball in. Headed away. Recycle possession. Castro Vili. Basia, Delo, pull over the top for Gerard Moreno. That has to be a penalty. And it has to be a red card. He was last man, surely. Send him off, ref. It's a penalty, at least. No red card, Laporte gets a yellow. We could go 3-1 up here. Oh. oh, it was low and hard. And Tostergan stood like a statue and just saved the penalty. Oh, Moreno. No. Oh, I was about to make a substitution, but I guess we'll see the highlight. <laughs> Duarte playing it out from the back. 75 minutes gone. Basia playing to De La Cruz. I love that bald man so much. Copacciano. Ball across to Gerard Zanilo. Chuck Wesley and to Sturgeon again. Ah, oh, he's too good. It's unfair. We should have scored three goals that he saved today. Not happy at all. Um, so, De La Cruz needs to come off. So, I think... I think we bring on Ceballos, play him in the middle, and play Zanilo on the right. And then that's everything we've got. Yeah. That's gonna have to be it. Um... Dropping to balance, going to drop some praise as well. Barca with a corner here. <sighs> See, now our praise is going to come through and they're going to get confused. Um, Yeah, 2-2 two, two from a corner. That's that's depressing, to be honest. Um, I can't cancel that praise either, so everyone's going to be quite unhappy with me, aren't they? Well, they're anxious, so that's not good. Um, I mean, I, I guess a point here is not bad. But considering we were leading and we had the penalty, it's just going to feel like points dropped. Um, I'm going to go attacking. It's probably the wrong thing to do, but I think I think we can still win this game. Five minutes to go. To Sturgeon on a 7.7. .7. That's disgusting for a goalkeeper. I know we saved a penalty, but uh, I, it's probably the wrong thing to do here. But... Extra time. We're going very attacking. Looking for the winner. No highlight. We rolled the dice, but... Oh. I can't believe we didn't win. Honestly. I mean, it technically was a fair game. 
but we just had the opportunities and couldn't take them. I'm glad Copacciano had a good game. Happy with that. He was our best performer in the end. Maybe it is time for Pellegrini to leave. If he does, he goes for big money. I don't know. I don't know. Wow. I mean, they can be happy with it, but I'm not. We could have won that. We really could have done. Roller coaster. Pellegrini is out for two to three months with a torn hamstring. Oi. And Nabil Feke is out for five to seven days. Of course, I wouldn't send them out to hurt people. My team got injured. That's a big miss with Pellegrini. I know I, know I was saying that, <laughs> you know, I'm hoping that Copiciano does well, but I don't want to see Pellegrini out for that long. He is a great player after all. Well, let's see how we do in the uh, last Champions League game, uh, a group game. So the team to face Monaco in our last game of the group stages is Drugowski in net, Abakro, Dolo, Malenkovic, Basia and Copacciano. Midfield three of Gagliandini, Nico and Ceballos. And then a front three of Baronachea, Ovando and Collado. A few injuries and general rotation in play here. Duarte, Pellegrini, Fekir, you know, all injured, so don't play. And then, you know, we've got fitness issues as well. We want to get some sharpness into, especially these front four players. Um, and I'm now wearing a hat because my hair looks like this. It's okay, because today is the day I get a haircut for the first time in four months. So, you know what? I can We can live with the hat for, for a match, right? So, it's not absolutely vital that we win. I would expect to. We're at home. We've absolutely decimated this, this group. So, I don't see why we wouldn't even... With these changes, I think this is a seriously strong eleven. Um, yeah, I'm I'm happy with it, so I don't see why we'd falter now. And that's also assuming that Rangers beat Anderlecht. So whatever happens, we just have to match Rangers' result. First highlight here for uh, I think they called them Atletico Madrid. Then <laughs> uh, this is uh, Monaco P, not Atletico Madrid. Copacciano and Basia playing it between them. Milenkovic, Nico. Ball over to the right-hand side for Collado. Plays it into to low. Runs into the box. Nah. Tackled by Tamakis there and then cleared away. Only as far as Copacciano. Gagliandini, the two Italians combining. Baron Achea, good to see him back in the side. Over to Nico. Ceballos through for Avando. Got to score. A lovely goal. Well worked. And a great finish. A just just great general play here. The midfield getting involved. Savayos first time pass. Splits the defence. Avando makes the run. And just like that. Top of the uh, <laughs> of the group stages. And we're happy. Rangers are 2-0 up against Anderlecht. So we can be pretty sure of how that's going to go down now. <laughs> But yeah, 12 points from six games. Very nice. Rangers with 11. And Alexa Monaco, clearly the uh, the weaker sides in this. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. In this group. Um, I'm, I'm still not exactly sure what's happened to Monaco. Because, you know, you, you win the league and then, then this. Because they have been rubbish. I mean, I'll take one nil now, but <laughs> it would be uh, it would be nice to see uh, see us do better. Just going to flick through the uh, the groups down here. Liverpool, perfect, sixteen points from six games, and then Benfica, Ajax, and Milan well beaten in that group with only two points. Juventus and Barcelona going through in that group there. Half time, one nil, a decent performance. We can be happy with that so far. I'm, I'm tempted to get them to go attacking. 
and encourage them, which is what we'll do. And then Real Madrid and Man United in that group there, which we probably can't see right at the bottom. So that's fine. I also noticed while I'm scrolling up and down this, it scro scrolls in and out of the uh, the zooming camera. So that's just great. Let's not do that because that's uh, really jarring to look at. Uh, I'd, I'd like it if I could scroll in this box without scrolling the big camera behind it as well. Oh, well. Uh, I think we're going to drop some praise. We're doing okay. Rangers now 5-1 up against Anderlecht, but... Doesn't matter how many they score, they're not going to top this group. Dumfries. Very much tiring on that right-hand side. I know it's Dumfries, but I like Dumfries. Is this going to be it? Monaco trying to conjure something here. Voland getting in behind Copacciano. Gagliandini with the tackle. Just headed over there for Monaco. Uh, I'm probably going to make some substitutions just to waste some time more than anything. So we'll get Bailly on for uh, Basia because Basia has been uh, playing a lot of games. Who else could come off? Who's had a bad game? Verona Chair? That's a shame. You know what? I think I'll do. I don't think there's any reason to uh, to play more players. I'll maybe take Sabios off. He's actually quite tired, isn't he? We'll just throw in Castrovilli in there. And that will do for the game, I think. Rangers 6-1 up. But, like I said, doesn't matter. They could win a, a million nil. And doesn't matter because I was about to say we've won this game. Uh, one last highlight... Monaco trying to uh, get a late equaliser here. Dragowski hitting it long. Dumfries heading it forwards. Wow. <laughs> Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Where did that come from? I mean, you've got to look at the goalkeeper. 93rd minute. Well, I guess we don't qualify top of the group after all. Great. That's, uh... That's put a little bit of a dampener on it, hasn't it? So we qualify second in the, uh, in the group. Behind Rangers by a point. And, uh, one final... Revenge... From Monaco there, ensuring we don't qualify at the top of the group. That's unfortunate, I would say. Um, right, well, I don't think we find out who we have in the next round quite yet. Let's have a look. So, group stages, profile, all groups, Champions League path, is that it? League path. Oh, no, this is... Hmm. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll cut back and see who we've uh, got in the Champions League group for, well, our first knockout round of the season. So there was a couple of games in between uh, where we were and us finding out who we're going to have in the Champions League. So we had a 2-0 win against Sevilla, which was... Are rather tasty, if I do say so. Goals from Dela Cruz and Zanilo. And then we had a really disappointing one all draw against Cadiz. 90th minute equaliser on the break. The only shot they had on target all game. I mean, I would say it's probably our own fault for not killing the game off, but also, come on. No need for that, especially when our form's been this good for this long. Like, absurdly good. So, I'm hoping that's just a, a, a lack of concentration blip. That's what we're going to put it down to, but here we are. Let's have a look. So, because we didn't come top of the, uh, top of the group, we are not seeded. So, we are going to have one of these teams. So, Chelsea, Atletico Madrid, Arsenal, Dortmund... 
Liverpool, Madrid, Rangers, or we won't get Rangers, Tottenham, Juventus. We will not get Barca, Porto, Leon, Benfica, United, or Leverkusen. So the easiest game in there is the team we can't face in Rangers. So I honestly don't think it matters who else we get. We are at home in the first leg. Tottenham. It's always Tottenham. Why is it always Tottenham in, in European fixtures? Ugh. I mean, Barca versus Dortmund's a cool one. United and Atletico, Porto, Liverpool. It's always Tottenham. The ninth in the in the Premier League, but that obviously means nothing because they're still in the Champions League. I mean what what is going on here? A four three one two Who Oh sorry sorry's at Tottenham. Okay. Alright. Wild <laughs> But yeah, that's that's who we've got. We've got Tottenham in the Champions League. So looking ahead, that's here. Mid Feb and mid March. So yeah. Fine. No problem. Just gotta beat Tottenham. We can do that. But in terms of us, we're going to come back for the Super Cup semi-final against Real Madrid. And then I guess we'll see where we go from there. It might be Valencia, it might be the final. Who knows? Keep it nice and easy breezy. Thanks for watching. I've been MVP. Hasta luego. Bye for now.